All right, so the stuff that I needed to do is done. I am missing a few things here. As you see, I need these um, uh, power resistors that are coming into the um, anodes. I've got to order those. I do have my main power line coming in though. Um, and it may be a bit fun trying to hook them in with these other big fat guys in, but these will all have four that will run up. But I have got all the rest of the stack completed. Uh, there's a couple of things that were a little bit interesting. One, the tone stack really would normally come right here, but it's over here instead on this old board. So I just jumpered the output. So the, the power input comes in through here and up to there. But then also the output of the tube comes in the same way. And I'm just jumpering that across to here, which connects into this capacitor, which will jumper off to the volume. And then these, this is the treble, basically. This is the bass and the bass in the mid. So that's the tone stack and it will come off to the tone pots off this way. Then when they kind of come back in a couple, they'll couple in through here into, this is that, the whole kind of cathode area of the, um, well, sorry, not cathode. So this is the input in for the first half of the phase inverter, but then it also goes through um, all this other kind of a network here. Uh, there's a one mag and another one mag that tie from the cathodes of either side to the ground, which is, this is the ground off of that. So the ground of that will go to the ground of the cathode of the phase inverter, both of them. And then these two go to the inputs. And then that's why this one is here as well. Uh, and then we have a an interesting different one here. It's a 39K resistor here that kind of ties off of the center of these. And in this case, it also connects, in fact, I'll kind of show it really quickly. That's this part right here. So the 39K, but then it also comes down to a 4.7K uh, 4 to ground, which is what this guy jumps across here to, because that's my grounding bus. Uh, and then I will also connect this off and down to the presence control, which will have a, another 0.1 microfarad capacitor on it connected to the, uh, between the presence and ground. So it's, uh, it's all been readjusted now. Again, all I have to do now is I'll have to have a separate board over here for the separate uh, grounding capacitor and resistor on the, that will be over here. I'll set those next to that. I will bring the A, the A positive, or the, sorry, the B plus one was gonna connect into a 1.5 or 1K resistor, I think it was, that I have now that will come across to here. This then jumps across to here for the next phase, but also, um, uh, or for the you know for the grids and then it jumps through another 9.1k over to the um these two here and i just i just gave it some room put it on this side but those two are jumpered together so this connects into here which connects off through the capacitors and into the uh, phase inverters power input and then they come back out to the 220k resistors to ground etc so it's it's all laid out correctly now again i just i just need to get these that i'm missing here uh, I will also hook up that part there. I will also set a one point, or I think it's just a one or 1.5 K 25 water here that brings the first mains in before it jumpers over to here. So um, that's the bulk of this done. Uh, it's a little weird and I've got some extra, you know, jumpers that I don't need in these and are just left open. This one also, because it's so big and I had such short ones here, I just decided to cross it over from here. So I'll connect into it here from the, um, you know, from the output stage. So, but uh, there it goes. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thanks. All right, so if you look here, I've gotten my power resistors here. Sadly, I didn't have any five waters, which should have been about half the size, but there are 10 waters, which, and of course I couldn't get four matching. These were just kind of whatever they had at the local electronic shop, but they will work uh, and they look a little funky in here, but uh, you know, so I've got extra capacity, which I'll never need. Uh, and I also did forget and realize that I needed to put my there's a coupling capacitor. Well, I, should, I don't know if it's a coupling, but it actually joins between the 200 um, K resistors that come into these uh, as well before connecting into the 220 to ground. So uh, on the schematic, that is right here. This is 100 picofarad that connects between those two. So, um, and we'll, we'll, you'll be able to review this schematic if you are following along with that. Um, additionally, um, I'm going to be most likely replacing this one. I've got somebody uh, that's uh, done me a favor and is sending me some that are actually the 25 watt, the, the actual, uh, that actually calls out for in the schematic. So, um, but ultimately I'm getting very close now. I did go through and drill all of the holes I'll need to hook wires up and I'll be doing that next. Um, so I'll come back with you shortly with that as well and show you that, how that came out. All right. So as you can see, I now have all my wires hooked up. I have my ground for the preamp section which jumpers across, um, oh no, I'm gonna have to disconnect that one. That was supposed to connect here. That would be the yacht. So we'll fix that in a second here. See, this is why you double check. Um, but this will connect here to my ground bus, which comes across here um, and then stops pretty much there. And then all of this is pretty much from the phase inverter on comes down to a bus that comes out over here. 
I then have my treble mid bass that come off of this side that go up. Um, I've got one coming off of here that I come up here with. I will also have um, another one that is jumpered from here over to here. And that's going to be um, connecting up here to the next phase. I might have to think about this. I think I'm, I'm still thinking I'm missing one of the ones that would jumper off to the volume, but we'll, we'll look at that. Oh no, actually the volume is, I think, tied in with these guys. But anyway, we will look at that um, on the schematic again in a minute. But I know that I've got the bulk of these. This is treble, mid, and bass. And that's the reason I alternated the colors, is just so you can tell the difference between when you're trying to wire it up and not accidentally get them confused. But uh, I do tend to stick to the pattern of yellow is for grids, black is for ground, and red is for the high voltage runs. And, and then we have, these are the... Uh, outputs after we come from here into the phase inverter and then these two are the outputs from the uh, phase inverter to each half of the power tubes and then I have my four uh, high voltage ones I also pre-wound my wire for the uh, 100 volt 100 ohm to ground for the uh, heaters now I have one of these again I've mentioned I've got some coming of these that are the actual 25 waters and then I've got I'll have to set a separate board over here that'll have the second pair because this board just doesn't fit them uh, and uh, now I'm pretty much ready to go. So I'm going to quickly desolder that one and resolder it here because I do not want my high voltage going to ground. That would be bad. So at any rate, uh, now I'm ready to start prepping the chassis and then drop this guy into the chassis. You know, I, I know this is a bit ugly looking through here. I just have a tight space and I'm trying to keep them up and a little separated. So there's a, a more, and there, there's a decent room underneath here as well just for heat dissipation because these higher wattage or high voltage, high wattage ones will be actually pushing out a little bit of heat. So I don't want them too close to other components. So... All right, there you have it. So my first phase here is I'm just trying to fit things. You can kind of see I've got the main transformer choke and the output transformer here. And the there's only going to be one input jack, but that's where it'll go. And then all of the different front panel uh, potentiometers, power light, and power switch. I'm not doing a standby, just power switch. Uh, and then I'm going to come around from the back side and you'll be able to see the way that hopefully the back side will lay out as well. <clears throat> but it's definitely tight. It's going to be very tight. One of the things I'm going to have to do, and one of the things I also did carefully here, is figure out where I wanted this guy compared to the this. Now, one of the things that's a bad habit I've been in, I've told people before, is don't do this. Figure out where it goes, but invert it, because it will be upside down like this inside of the chassis. So um, this way, all my power sections down here, my power tubes are very close to that. And I want this brushed up against that edge almost, but I also have to have room for these screws to mount in, but still have this output transformer coming through on the bottom side as well. So um, it's all working out, I think, pretty well because this means my two preamp tubes are perfectly lined up with this guy, my phase inverters lined up pretty well with that guy, and then my power tubes will have to shift over a little bit, but that's okay. So you just want to get that visual idea of how it's all going to fit together, and then uh, now I'm all going to come around and give you the side kind of from this back side so you can see where the tubes are going to line up as well. Okay, hopefully now you can see as well. I've got my first two preamp tubes, phase inverter, the power tubes, I've got the output jack, the switcher that I'm going to use to switch between 8 and 16 ohms. I've got my fuse and my power that will come in here. And uh, as you can see also, this is still pretty tight. This is a fairly small chassis. Again, like I did with the box, but I ended up um, getting a friend to build me a bunch of wooden cabinets, so I'm trying to fit things into this size. Maybe it's not the wisest thing, but uh, in the future I'll likely, once I finish up with those boxes, start using bigger boxes and bigger chassis. But this is also a standard one that Hoffman Amp stocks, so it's easy for me to get that chassis and be able to uh, adjust it as I need. So. The next step really is going to be to um, mark off with a magic marker where I think those will end up and then tape over the areas in general and, and mark them more precisely on say one and a half inch or one inch centers that I think is right for those and mark off exactly where these guys need to be drilled in. So uh, we'll show you that next step once we're there. I've shown in a lot of other videos how to do all this. So I won't go into deep detail here. I'll just show exactly how each step kind of looks as we go along. <laughs> 